today we find ourselves in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Yes. Why? Walk-ons. Well, it's so no, good. We didn't drive here for walk-ons. Why are we in North Carolina? <laughs> well, we did. We came with... like 20 minutes out of our way. No, we didn't. We're it's right off 95. 20 minutes ago. Yes. Anyways, we're going to Florida. Yes. I can't wait. We didn't have time to record an update video, so this is kind of your update right now. We're on our way to Florida to look at more areas to move to, so subscribe to follow along to our moving videos that we're making. Walk-ons is where we stopped on our way back from our last trip, and we had a great meal, didn't do any recording, so we figured we'd record now to give them a shout out. It's a Louisiana style, like bar and grill, I guess. It's almost like a sports bar. Hence why Drew Brees is partial owner. We don't have any of these around our way, so we have to grab them when we can. They're so good. Yes. I just don't want to drive anymore. We're done. How much yeah, longer? I haven't driven at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be in the car anymore. How much longer? We're like halfway. This is probably about the halfway point. So Alex is with us. It's his first time at Walk-Ons. But this is the place that I said in a previous video, this is the best place for pickle chips. It's the only place that I like the pickle so chips or the fried pickles, whatever you want to call it. But uh, So we're definitely going to get that. We'll see what looks good and uh, do our review. So here's a look inside. I didn't notice that they had all this like photography all over the walls last time. But it's a wide open, loud, I would imagine. Imagine if like it was full of people, how loud it would be. So I know that's like a modern thing to do is just have a big wide open restaurant and uh, this is no different but there's TVs everywhere for sports, different things are on to watch while you're eating and then the bar area over there. It is kind of loud now and as you can see there's hardly anybody in our area. Alright so we did obviously have to get the fried pickle chips. I think the secret is they They're don't so really... Thin. Yeah, they're very thin. It's not like a thick pickle. And they're also pickle. obviously don't add any seasoning or extra salt. It's literally just pickle and lightly breaded. It's so good. And, and they're And mozzarella logs, which is mozzarella sticks. But, but those look delicious. They smell good. When you set it down, I got a whiff. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there is a QR code. If anyone wants to see a menu, I did keep the menu because I want to point out that they have, they even have like alligator here. I've had it before, so I know what it's like, and I wasn't in the mood. But there is a duck and andouille gumbo. There is some pretty interesting things on the menu, so I wish there was one near us, because we would try all kinds of different things. Well, when we moved to Florida. Yeah, they do have them uh, more south. Obviously, probably around the Louisiana area, and then spreading north, so maybe. Probably when we move, they'll build one near us. <laughs> Does it taste good? The batter is really good. It's got is it good? The batter has a little bit of sweetness to it. Do you taste the that? The batter or the sauce? The batter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, like, that's a southern thing too, adding sugar to everything. Sweet tea. It's a really good crispy Sweet batter. cornbread, sweet grits. I can't quite... Sugar? It's something. <laughs> it is really sweet. <laughs> Just to try just Did you that. taste the sweet? Yep. So what'd you get? I got the Mardi Gras. The Crumba. same thing we got before. <laughs> I wanted to try something different. I was like, ooh, that sounds delicious. So I got this. We didn't remember until we got it. Yeah, and then it sat down. I and swear like, we had shrimp. Oh, it was because the shrimp horse. The devil oh. horseback is the shrimp. Oh, Colleen. Well, at least we know you like it. It, it was very good, so that's true. <laughs> And their garlic bread, I had Black to say, is delicious. It's a um, crawfish mushroom gravy on corn grits. Oh, yeah. And then what it was yours? smells delicious. The hangover burger. Hangover burger. I guess that just means they put an egg on it. Yeah, it's a bacon burger with eggs. And mine was a surf and turf burger, so it's got blackened shrimp on the burger. And there's some like candied jalapenos in there that look really good. It doesn't come with rice. And I had to get the hush puppies instead of just fries. Look at that little crawfish! That is. I wonder if they're just the tails. Because I think, I think you typically just pull the head off crawfish, like the tail, and you suck the juices out. But the only oh. real meat is the tail. I'm so glad I liked it. <laughs> it's as good as you remember. 
yeah, I'm just bummed. Like, I wanted to try something different, and now I'm like... Holy moly, that's huge. That looks delicious. Good? The meat has good flavor? Look at that. It's all very good. Look how good that burger looks. Turn it around, let's see. Very messy. <laughs> and Chick fil A fries. Mine's already falling apart too, anyway. Holy moly. I don't know if any shrimp is left on it. I'll slid off. I mean, cheese. I literally could just eat that side thing. <laughs> no, there's plenty more on there. What, what kind of cheese was <laughs> Pepper Jack. Are you good? Delicious. I really feel bad for wasting money, but... The greasier it is, I guess, the better it tastes. Let me see. Oh, you can see the jalapeno, the cheese. Onion. Pickled jalapeno. The beef actually has no flavor. Really? So <laughs> it's everything else? I had to say whatever this was, like, the, is it the shrimp and cheese or something? Yes. That had a lot of flavor. Yeah, well, the right. cheese is almost, like, brown. Like, you can yeah. see, tell where parts of it hit the griddle. So it's a little crispy. And Alex is just finishing his last bite. That was, like, super fast eating. Were you hungry? <laughs> that is a massive portion. I don't know who could ever eat that. So tell me about the hush puppies. They're really good. They're cooked, like... It's very light, like mm. they're not heavy or dense, but trying to determine if that is pepper. I taste a little pepper, like green pepper, or if that's green onion. Pepper has Either such way, a prominent taste. Yeah, it's not like overpowering, but you can taste it. It's in the, and I don't know that I like my hush baby with pepper flavor. Yeah. They're good, but I prefer, I guess, pepper not being in it. But everything else about them is great. That was another good meal. Was it better than good? I mean, it was really good. I'm just disappointed I got the same thing. I wanted to try something new. Yeah, like, I mean, the burgers were good. They were just super greasy. So there's some things, I guess, you know, it's not a perfect meal, but I would definitely eat here again, and I wish there was one near us mm -hmm. to try more stuff. Well, next time I'm going to note this in the video, I'm going to try the shrimp and grits because I've gotten the Mardi Gras twice. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. It's very good. The uh, oh, and those mozzarella logs were really good. Those were delicious. Yes. Yeah, right. And you liked your burger. Yeah, it was very greasy though. Um, yeah. yeah. So but the you didn't pickle... stop you from downing it. Fast. It was, it was easy because it was just, <laughs> just slide right down. Right down. <laughs> um, the pickle chips, like you just you get a very big basket, but like you don't eat that bottom layer because it is a lot of grease at the yeah, bottom. So you like leave too. that bottom layer. But I do remember that from last time. Um, but it's a really good meal. Yeah. A really good food. Highly recommend to walk on for sure. That's it. I got to drive next. We got six more hours of driving. Till next time. Do I have to drive six? Last hours? time. Last tag. <laughs> <laughs>